Well, you see them under our RV, of course, but this is not mine for a change. Uh, my buddy Tim stopped by to see me, and we're fixing a couple things on his RV. He has a 2005, just like we have a 2005, except it's his workhorse chassis is a W22, where we own a workhorse chassis W24. So I thought I'd show some things I noticed that are different. Now, one thing is the differential. This is a Dana S150. Uh, it's also can be called a Dana S135, but uh, but you look at it, it's just monstrously huge. Even though it's in a lighter chassis, uh, being a W22 instead of the W24, and I'll sh I'll show you the comparison to our differential because the the differential on the W24 uh, it only holds I think six to seven quarts, where this thing holds twelve. Because it is just a huge bell housing on the back of it. I'll I'll show you the back side here. So here is the back side of the uh, of the differential. And you see how the, the check plug is on the very center of the rear. We're on the on the Dana S130 is up front on the side. I'm fixing to change oil on this thing. See how black it all was. Alright, let me show you some other things. Alright, something else that is different. I um I talked to John Brazel at Brazel's RV and he also pointed out to me that the leaf springs are different on the W22 and the W24. We've also got the brake. The, um, the brake system on the W22 has the big mechanical drum brakes on, on this one. Uh, so uh, that's a better idea, I believe. Uh, well, I've got the J72, the hydraulic system that we have to deal with. So this has a nice, simple uh, brake pad and cable going to it. That makes things life a little bit easier. What else is the same oh the transmission itself is different so the w22 has an allison 1000 the w24 evidently has an allison 2100 mh well, i know i'm kind of curious the spec wise what's really different about it so that's something else i need to look up and, and figure out but you know looking at the drive shaft the exhaust system all that looks pretty much the same i think this one's like 37 foot long or the ours is a, a 38j Winnebago and this is our Monaco uh, a little bit different layout on the the, ch the coach side how it's built and stuff but uh, let's go up top and see what we can find of course one thing it's nice that's the same is these large 22.5 tires uh, those things are great for 22.5 rims wheels so that's a good feature to have. Up front, things look to be a whole lot the same. This brake mechanism, the master cylinder, all that looks the same. A power steering. The radiator pack looks a little bit different on this than mine, just slightly. And it's got a different air conditioning unit, I noticed. Even though they were both the 2005 model. It's, here it is. This is a Monaco Monarch SE. Just so you know what we're looking at. Now let's go go look at the W24 and look at the differences. Okay, now we're in the building here with the W24. You can see all this kind of looks the same. Uh, the air, the air conditioner's laid out a little bit different. Uh, let's, now let's crawl underneath. Okay, you can see here. Now here's the W24. There's our Allison transmission, which is a 2100 mh. And we have a different brake mechanism. This is the J72 uh, braking system. That's the hydraulic style that uh, automatically holds itself because this transmission does not have a park parking pole. Now, I'm wondering, I would assume, yes, I would assume now the Allison 1000 does have a parking pole plus a mechanical parking brake. But the 2400 does not have a parking pole because of the weight um, I guess they decided so much weight on this chassis they couldn't depend on the parking pole alone to hold it on a hill. So that's why they set up the J72, which is sort of like an automatic parking brake. When you put put it in park, you don't have to do anything. It automatically applies itself. And I got a video talking all about the J72 and how it works. And uh, so and there, there's a the leaf springs. I'm not sure exactly they look similar, but... I don't know if they're just a little bit wider. I'm sure they're designed slightly different to support the more weight. So let's walk, let's go back to the back with the differential. Okay, so here's the differential on the W24. 
and it seems kind of a lot smaller like oil wise it only holds like I think six to seven quarts so it uh, uses about half the oil as does the uh, Dana S150 or the Dana S135 and uh, let me just try to get around and you see the, the check plug is over here on the side and that plug right there is the drain let's take a peek at the other side okay now here's the back side of the differential of the W24 there is no drain plug but uh, oh I was also going to mention our brakes are different we do have a different braking system and a different ABS the, the brake uh, pads the calipers are of a different brand so here are the brakes on the W24 and um, I'll go back up and do a little video on the brakes on the um, on the W22. These are, I think, are the, hmm, I'm trying to remember the brand name of these. I'm drawing a blank at the moment. I'll have to look that up. Oh, I got close. It's stamped right on there. So these are Meritor. Meritor brake calipers, four pistons. And I'm not sure what the um, W22 has, but we'll go up there and find out. Okay, so the brake calipers on the W22 are Bosch, not Meritor, and there was a major recall on these brake calipers, so if you're looking to buy an RV that's got a W22 chassis, see that the, the brakes have been replaced. You can see these got new calipers, so they've already been, the recall has already been done on this, and I would assume most already have. They had an issue with the uh, calipers, the, uh, the cups sticking in the bore, causing issues, dragging, overheating, getting hot, so... But anyway, so that's some more differences. I think I'm about to wrap it up. I'll keep looking. Okay, some more brake information. Just got off the phone with John at Brazzles RV. And uh, we was talking about the brakes differences. And also he reminded me, because these, on the W22, you got the, the Bosch calipers. But they're only two piston calipers. Whereas the W24 has the Meritor four piston calipers. So that's why the W24 has such a great braking system. In fact, my calipers are original from 2005, and you can see these have been replaced. You got the remanufacture stamp on them, so these are not original. But anyway, just a little more information for you. Okay, another quick tip. I'm adding some stuff at the end of the video. If you're curious, if you have a W24 or a W22, one quick way to find out is look underneath at the differential. So if you look at the rear of the differential and there is no check plug, then that is a Dana S130, which means you have the heavier W24 chassis. If you see a fill plug, check plug right in the middle, then that means you got a Dana S135 slash Dana S150, which means you have the lighter W22 chassis. All right, a little more information I found out uh, digging into these the Allison transmission. So the uh, W22 workhorse has the 1000 mh Allison transmission which it's gross what was it here the gross vehicle weight rating is 22,000 pounds the gross combined weight is 26,000 pounds on the, on the W22 where our W24 can handle a little bit more 26,500 and up to 30,000 pounds I guess everything you're, you're your tow vehicle, trailer, whatever you're pulling behind you. So that's kind of good information to know. That's something I did not realize. We actually had a different transmission. I assumed they was the same, but that's what happens when you assume something. Well, for what it's worth, I found a little bit different information. This first piece of paper on the transmission I pulled from the Allison manual. But then I looked this up in the Workhorse uh, Custom chassis, uh, chassis Guide, and it gave us a little bit different numbers. On the transmission um, same gross vehicle weight of so what was the difference here 20 yeah it's a little bit less 24,000 where in Allison was stating 26.5 so I guess we probably need to go by what workhorse says and then our towing capacity W22 is 26,000 pounds or W24 is 30,000 pounds anyway I keep reading and I keep learning
Okay, about to wrap this video up. I have one little bit more information I found here on the RV net. They was talking about there's an extra frame member on the W24 to help stiffen the chassis. I didn't know about that. And also something I don't understand, maybe someone can enlighten me, says that the differential has a power gear which better supports the vehicle weight. So I don't understand what the power gear is all about. Maybe just maybe it just means a different ratio, some kind of combination. Anyhow, hope that helped you out. You guys have a have a great night and a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye.